Hey friends, welcome back. S'more here bringing you some more 7 Days to Die. This is Alpha 16. I swear I'm going to say 15 sometimes. Better late than never, guys. I got off to a late start, and here I'm bringing you a an electricity slash turret tutorial. So grab yourself something delicious to drink. Join me. Let's get going. All right, friends. So I've seen a few tutorials online, um, and they've been pretty good. Uh, Two-handed gaming had a really good electricity one, but I would like to do one, and then I'd like to show you guys what all we can do, and just give you a quick primer on it. Let's drop a turret, folks. Now I'm not worried about being shot just yet. Uh, they're not powered. They're not loaded. So uh, definitely some things to keep in mind, right? You've got to have them loaded and then locked for them to work. You have to have them set. And then right here, you can see the camera preview shows us exactly what uh, they'll be shooting at. And that little red dot there, it's pretty accurate. And then there's a few things that, that we'll need to know before we get started, right? So electricity in this game is fairly simple. You need a power source, you need a wire, and then you need something down the road to use said power source, right? Pretty straightforward. Ooh, that, that bank is quite large. I was not expecting it to be that large. That's good to know. And a generator. All right. We're gonna... So let's see. First off, yeah, we will start with power first. Okay, so we have batteries. And as you can see, I had to toss in all the batteries. And you can craft these now. However, they are something that you have to purchase. Let's double check. Yep, and that's one. And there's not a player level requirement. You guys can see I have a ton of points. I just gifted myself a ton of XP to get that. But these guys, you are good to go. Or are you? Oh, guys, let's double check and make sure I'm not giving you any uh, bum information. Oh, look at that. So you do need the solar cells. Can we craft those, guys? Let's let's check here. No. Is there a... And there's not a recipe, so you have to loot these. And then with this, you will need motors. Now, I was going to... Um, need engines. I was going to have this all set up, but I thought it would be cool to actually build it with you guys. So you won't need any wiring, but as you can see here, you'll right click and then you will right click and you can see with the wire tool in your hand, you can see the flow of electricity. All right. Only when you have it. Uh, and you can also see the, you know, area of effect of the cone, right? This shotgun turret is stupid powerful, guys. And really, this is all you need, right? This might even be one of the very first ones that you actually hook up and use. Uh, it's going to be loud. So let's see. Let's interact with it. Let's refuel. Okay. And so I'm sure... Oh, that's like a pleasant volume. Come on, you guys. We got one here. Wow. You guys can see it move and everything. So the range was pretty close on that. So right click. Right click. And then let's see. We're going to turn on. So the range is much better. All right. So I turned the AI back off. And so, very interesting, folks. This guy, devastating up front, limited range. This guy, uh, much farther range, but not very effective. Um, we went through 160 rounds right there. And let me tell you guys, I know that we're all a lot better than that with 160 rounds. I think we killed three zombies, four zombies. So, uh, that's excellent to know. And let's pull this one over here. It's, a little, it's just out of range. Come on. Come on. There we go. So let's see. Uh, we can kind of see the range of the stripper there, right? So if the nurse gets any... Oh, that was creepy. I didn't even see zombie Arlene there. How nice was that? All right, friends. So I have built very, very hastily this disgusting looking thing that I think is going to be damn near impossible to take. Uh, at least for zombies, right? PvP, whole other story. 
Shotguns on the corners with overlapping fields of fire, overlapping field of fire with this middle one. However, you guys will notice that I, I derped a little here. They're not placed symmetrical, and if you guys have watched my channel at all, you know that that just drives me crazy. Well, we drop this down here, push and hold, yoink, and there is a pickup timer associated with it. Boom, done, and you could even throw up some of that right there. There we go. All right. I mean, that is a ton of turrets. Now, they don't flip upside down, uh, but they are sticky, right? And you guys will notice I actually put them one block too low, but what you could do is create a protective screen that just wraps all the way around these things, right? And since we just discovered that they can shoot through bars, this right here is just nuts. What if we put four of these things here, 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 there, and then we just assembled a cage around them. I mean, this is, guys, this is ridiculously powerful, especially once you start getting the ability to just ramp up your resource collection, right? Because, I mean, guys, this is... Come on, give it to me. Oh, you're not going to put it on the ground, are you? No. All right, so you can also throw, like, a plate or hatches over these to cover the top, and you're set, right? I mean, you can do this all the way around. And, you, and I guarantee you guys, that right there is overkill. Now, let's throw down a battery yeah, battery bank. Excellent. Okay, let's grab... Nope, not that. Don't need that. Don't care about that. Excellent. Let's plop down one of these. Right there looks great. All right, again, let's load our batteries. Turn it on. Right click. Now, this is what I don't know about. Will it just go down? It will, and it will just clip right through the block. You'll notice, though, that you can't actually daisy chain these together. Okay, that's not how it works, okay? Uh, to do that, though, to run multiple turrets from the same uh, generator, you will need to manually click them. Oh, and you'll also notice that you can't redundantly power them. Ooh, that's interesting. So I consider myself to be like a redstone, like medium capability, right? Certainly not a master, but absolutely not a novice. I can uh, I can make things work in my Minecraft worlds. Uh, this, guys, is just starting to touch upon all of that. Oh, these things are so awesome. However, keep in mind that this is 15 or uh, 7. Let's see. Uh, let me make sure I get the math right. Okay, yeah, so each of these is 900 millimeter rounds, and each of these is 750 shotgun shells. They do not take the shotgun slugs. You cannot load those up yet, if if ever. Uh, I'm sure Val or somebody will, will just mod that right up. Uh, let's see. Um, there are some other electrical components, as you guys saw. Let's disconnect this. Hey. Oh, so it paused. Oh, so there is. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Wait, but then that isn't. Oh, come on, game. This source power cannot have a parent connection. Interesting, guys. Gonna roll off of it. Oh, so that did work. Okay. Huh, I totally thought that earlier we weren't able to get it to work. I wonder why it was working now. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm glad it's working. Uh, so we can run those in series, which means you really only need one power source, and then you can just chain them all up, right? So like that right up there, well, that's very bright, is enough. And then again, don't forget you have to throw your keystone down to be able to pick and move these up, but only if they're not damaged. If they are damaged, you'll need to repair them. There's a few things to keep in mind, folks. Some of these things can only be found with, let's see, um, yeah, so some of these things can only be found with schematics, right? The battery bank's a good one, a good example of that. 
Uh, some of these things can uh, only be purchased. Uh, the, let's see. The generator bank and electricity basic switches and triggers are all examples of that. So just before you start investing a whole bunch of resources, make sure that you have all the perk spot and the schematics uh, either you know, red or, or on hand. I want to do just a little bit more, guys, with the tripwire post electrical relay. I believe that the electrical relay just lets us string things just way out. Um, so, like, let's let's plop this way out here, right? So we can like yank this thing about that far, right? But if we Oh, that, what? Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, now will it run out here? Ooh, I wonder if that's because it's outside of the... Interesting. So guys, hey, thanks for being patient and learning this with me. I really haven't had a chance to play very much with this. There we go. Interesting. Okay, so I think I understand. So from here to here. From here to here. Okay, so you always have to be uh, going down the circuit. Okay, uh, but those are just like repeaters in Minecraft. No big deal. Okay, let's see. Switches. Let's get switches involved. So switches are pretty straightforward. They're exactly what they sound like. Let's roll this back. Actually, how do we do that? Oh, so you just left click on the cable itself. Let's double check that. Maybe. Yes. But again, it's going to be the thing that's furthest from the generator that you actually do that with. Man, that yellow is blinding. I apologize, guys. So we have a switch on the ground. We're going to go from the source. We're going to wait for it. And then we're going to go to the switch. And we're going to go to this guy. And then we're going to go from... You guys see what I did there? I didn't click enough time. So right click there. Right click there, right click there, right click there, right click there, right click here. All right. So everything is on, right? Because the switch is uh, on the off position, it seems. But if we had a free hand, we could then... Oh, we didn't actually need that. Uh, so let's see. Oh, that is... Huh, that should not work like that, guys. So let's troubleshoot it real quick. Um, so let's see. These things are on. There's a long pickup time for switches. Maybe it's because it's attached to the wires? Oh, that shows current direction, but not necessarily current running through it. Pardon me, guys. So learn something again. Awesome. So here, here. There again, to that guy. Switch is in the on position. And so these should be good to go. Uh, so what I'd like to do, we're gonna, so these shouldn't ha actually have power. Is there a way to? So that's green, that's awesome. And those, the 15W is highlighted in yellow. If we turn it off, that goes red. And then you can see the 15W is gray. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so switch. Pretty straightforward, and that's how you wire it in. Uh, there are more things you can do with pressure plates and trip wires. Let's see if we can't get some of those going real quick. So that's the trip wire post. I have a few of those there. So let's see. Let's, uh, let's head over here. Let's go from there to there. 
Now, I don't know how we wire these up exactly, so let's see if we can't take a crack at it and figure it out. Oh, you guys see what I did there? Did not click on this a second time. Ooh, see the pretty color? Oh, hear the noise? That's not a very good example of that noise, but that's the best I can do at the moment. Uh, so what does that do, guys? Huh. I wonder. Let's find a speaker, shall we? There we go, guys. So that's how you wire up the speaker. Again, when you're doing this, don't forget, you always need to be clipping. Your first clip needs to be upstream of your circuit. The second clip needs to be downstream. Well, folks, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this. Uh, it's like all over the place for me. I'll edit it down so it's nice and smooth for you guys. Uh, and so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, comment, consider subscribing. If you have any questions or anything I missed or anything you'd like for me to re-explain, just uh, comment below and I can answer that for you. Um, and yeah, uh, welcome to Alpha 16, guys. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited to make this. I was late getting out the gate, uh, but the single player series is coming. Oh, so excited. See you guys soon.